everyone, it's Amazing Buys, and today is going to be a fragrance review. One that I'm kind of not excited to do, but I'll get into that in a minute. If you've seen my short this morning, you know I'm going to talk about Gucci Flora Gorgeous Orchid. So this is the new 2024 fragrance that just came out. It is available at Sephora and a couple of other stores. It's the new yellow bottle, so if you are interested in that, check that out. But if you enjoy this type of content, go ahead and hit the notification bell, like, and subscribe, and let's get started. Okay, so the reason why I said I'm kind of not excited to talk about this is because I personally wouldn't buy Gucci. I'm just going to be honest. Guys, remember that whole situation that happened, I think, back in 2019 where this happened? It just never set right with me after that. Now, I didn't have Gucci products before that. Like... I grew up with humble beginnings, so I'm not really materialistic. I don't see a specific luxury or designer brand and feel like I have to have everything, you know, as far as that brand. If I see something and I like it, I think it's cute or I want it, then, um, and the quality is decent, like, I will get it, but it doesn't necessarily have to be name brand. That's how I grew up. And that's how I am. That's why I talk about a lot of affordable shopping and walkthroughs and just products on my videos. But I had an issue when Gucci did that. Because, listen, I know this is an Italian, you know, luxury brand. But racism is all over the world. And you cannot tell me <laughs> that that went all the way up to the top and got approved. And not one person looked at that and said... I don't think this is a good idea or something may be wrong with that. And if somebody did, why didn't the company listen? So even though they issued, you know, an apology about it, this, like I said, this was back in 2019 and they are not the only company, as you can see, that ever did something like this. I think it's disgusting, to be honest. And if you're someone who has these negative stigmas in your head about black people or any other race like you legit can, you legit hate this race or any race for this matter um do me a favor do everybody a favor click off of this video and just hit unsubscribe because this is ridiculous like i i cannot believe like i can't fathom in my head that this got all the way to the top and got approved let me give you a little backstory so apparently they said that they modeled it off of this guy he's australian and his name is lee bowery so i didn't know anything about this i just seen like the sweater and i was like what is this they are selling this and for like over $800, I think, at that. But supposedly he's a, like a performer, an artist. He's into fashion. And if you want to look him up, you can just, you know, Google his name, Lee Bowery. He, I guess, is known, it's saying that he's known for his flamboyant type of fashion. He has a lot of overdrawn lips. Uh, you guys can look at that if you want to. To be honest, I think it looks creepy. I'm just... I'm just saying, that's my opinion. But, oh, why did they make the sweater black? I, I'm just saying. So ever since then, they just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And like, I just, I don't know. I don't know. They're not getting my money is what I'm saying. But that's why I kind of felt like, do I really want to do this review? So I am just going to give you my thoughts about this scent. Unbiased, of course. Um, I'm just letting you know. If someone asks in the comment section, hey, would you buy this? This is the reason why I'm going to tell you no. Let's see what Sephora has. So for a 0.33 ounce, this is going for $39. For a one ounce, it's going for $105. 1.6 ounce is going for $135. And a 3.3 ounce is going for $168. Let's get into the notes. So this is in, obviously this is in the florals category. And the scent type is warm florals. And as far as the key notes, it says Vanilla Duo, Vanilla Orchid, and Marine Ozonic Accord. What? The reason why you're getting that reaction because I don't know if that's matching what I'm smelling. But I'm going to tell you the fragrance description. It says Gucci's first floral gourmand fragrance, Gucci Flora Gorgeous Orchid. EDP is a vanilla lover's dream. Blending and enchanting contrast of sweet, warm vanilla. If you hear baby in the background, I'm sorry. <laughs> 
Sweet, warm vanilla balanced with marine azonic accord adds an unexpected freshness to the vanilla, creating an intoxicating scent. What? Okay, what I smelled when I first sprayed this is a blast of like a very bright floral. I did not get vanilla in the top notes at all. This smelled like a very bright floral scent. And it also didn't really smell unique, but it does change once it dries down. And I mean completely change. So when I'm seeing warm florals, I was like, where is the warm? So once the, I tried this on the tester and my skin. So once this starts to dry down, it starts to warm it up. And then that floral really seeps in. You maybe get a little sweetness of vanilla, but it's not something that's going to be like, how was saying vanilla lover's dream? No, I, I don't think so. <laughs> I think this is more of a straight floral scent. Now, it went from bright floral to the point that I thought there was citrus in it a little bit. And then it went to a slightly sweet type of floral that's starting to warm it up. And then the dry down is completely warm. So the dry down is a very warm, creamy, floral scent, almost to the point where it's a little bit ambery. So it has like a deep must to it. It is completely, I mean completely different than the initial spray. So keep that in mind, do not judge it based off of that first spray, let it dry down completely and that is the scent. So this scent does last a very long time, like I'm talking about full day almost. I sprayed that on 10 o'clock in the morning and by the time it was, I want to say, I want to say between like 6, 30, 8 o'clock, it was still on my wrist and it was very strong. Now, my husband didn't like it because he doesn't really like florals. And so he was asking like, yeah, oh, what is that? It's very few florals I feel like he can deal with, but he didn't. He like straight up just didn't like this one. So when I told him it was the new Gucci, he knows about this whole controversy and was like, mm -hmm. but he didn't like it anyways when he first smelled it. I actually think that it's okay. I just feel like it's not really unique. So if you like the type of florals, like that has a little bit of sweetness, I think you'll enjoy this, but you have to like warm florals, very, very warm florals. I feel like this would be a good floral scent for like the fall and winter time if you are into florals. it I feel like this would flourish during those months. That's just my thoughts about Flora Gorgeous Orchid. I know the company issued an apology that I feel like that's kind of, that's kind of spot on what companies usually do when stuff like this happens. I think they put out like a something about like they're gonna do diversity training and all of that. It's like the same typical things you always hear. But I'm just like, shouldn't, I, I feel like that shouldn't even be a thing. Like, it's not that hard to not be racist. <laughs> I'm so serious. Um, So yeah, like I said, it just rubbed me the wrong way. I wouldn't personally purchase it. But if you are into like warm florals, I think you should uh, check this out. You may like it. Okay, so that is pretty much my thoughts on Gucci Flora Gorgeous Orchid. That's my thoughts on it. Let me know in the comment section if you tried it and if you like it. And thank you for watching. And as always, have fun, stay blessed, and happy shopping. Bye.